What makes you optimistic? But I think that people are really looking to embrace new technology and new solutions to the challenges that they're facing. Um, there is a lot of, you know, there is still a lot of opportunity for tech upgrades. Some technology is coming to this end of life and then you, they do need to address those problems. And so I think there are still plenty of opportunities out there. Um, for, for vendors to, you know, find where they can make a difference and, and help these companies bring their media operations into, you know, the future, not just today, but there's, um, there's a lot of uh, media consumption happening and, and those demands do need to be, to be met. What is the Grit House Agency? Grit House Agency is a marketing and comms strategic agency that works with um, clients in the media and entertainment industry primarily to help them realize their marketing and communications goals. So we're very much focused not just on public relations, but on the entire marketing ecosystem with our clients. Well, how would you differentiate between marketing, PR, and advertising? Marketing communications, PR are all becoming one thing. And that's actually, you know, something that I'm speaking to at length with our clients and with potential clients is that traditional PR is really no longer the the path forward. You really need to do more than just focusing on your PR strategies. There needs to be a focus on, you know, how are we telling our brand story? How are we elevating people within the company to um, bring up their thought leadership and, and showcase their expertise and deep experience because everybody here, I mean, we've all known each other for many, many years. People have extensive experience um, and that should be leveraged through all of these um, channels and strategies. Let's say that I'm a small company mm -hmm. and I can't afford to hire a PR agency mm -hmm. and I put out a press release is that the best use of PR? And if not, what are common mistakes that people make when mm -hmm. they're trying to do press release and press contacts? I think there is definitely still a time and place for press releases. But as I was saying, it really needs to be viewed as more of a holistic approach. So I think the most important thing is kind of stepping back and having an understanding of what is the purpose of this. Um, and so we look at five key areas, which is brand recognition, share of voice, um, persuasion, credibility, and brand positioning. And those are five areas that no matter how big or small you are, you need to think about how every activity you're doing, putting out there, participating in, is contributing towards those goals. So when it comes to you know putting out a press release, is that really moving the needle in any of those areas? It really depends. I think you need to be looking at kind of the bigger picture and, and what other activities you're engaging in um, that, that contribute to all of those pieces coming into play. Let's assume I'm a company that has a PR agency now. Mm -hmm. What are common mistakes that companies make in working with a PR agency that makes your job more difficult? It <laughs> really has to do with what are your expectations of the agency and, and what are your expectations of your own participation in that engagement? Because you need to ha have an active role in that. You know, I think if you want to bring a PR agency in, you need to be engaged with them and and you know it's this can be such an incredible relationship we have relationships spanning back over 20 years because of the way that we integrate ourselves in with our clients and the way that they've embraced us onto their teams and we're really lucky to have those um to have those relationships and those partnerships but i think the mistake that some make is you know where you're not looking at how I can bring in the authentic brand voice into 
the conversation or into the, um, you know, the communications that we're putting forth. I think chasing a trend, for example, without really understanding what does that mean for my business, who who within the organization can speak knowledgeably about that topic. You know, those are definitely some areas that that I do think brands make make errors in how they're, you know, communicating what it is that they're doing. But when you're sharing your brand vision and your your mission and talking about the solutions and services and technology you provide and it really comes from that place of authenticity, people can read that. They can under they, it, it immediately resonates with them and alternatively when you're seeing that maybe on LinkedIn in a post and it just doesn't feel something feels off I think people actually have a very strong intuition as to um, as to when that's not being done with that authenticity if I was a multi-billion dollar company hiring a PR agency is easy it just becomes a line item in the budget but if I'm a smaller company um, rumor has it you charge for your time (laughs) and I need to get my budget to be effective Mm -hmm. how do I if I'm a smaller company Mm -hmm. How do I effectively use a PR agency to maximize what little money I do have to spend? Yeah. And the flip side is, what can I do that would really alienate you? To answer the first question, it's definitely having focus. You need to be singularly focused, especially the smaller the budget is, the, the sharper your focus has to be. And when, as you start to make progress, you, you will see the, the results. What can I do to screw things up? That's a really good question. Again, I think I would go back to what I said before where, you know, if you sometimes you're not ready for working with a PR agency and that's okay. I th- I think, you know, you need to be self-aware of of what you are or are not ready for. So, you know, if you engage with a PR agency, even if it's a small budget, that's precious money that you're spending on that engagement and if you can't be a full participant and and that's usually for good reason you're maybe if you're at, in the startup level you're focused on a number of other things you should I mean, and it comes back to the focus you should stay focused on doing those things until you are at a point where what you can give to that PR relationship or agency relationship because like I said, I do, you know, we do like to focus on more than just the PR aspect, although I completely understand, you know, getting, getting that attention and visibility is, is so gratifying, um, especially when you're just starting out. You're a firm that specializes not just in PR, but in marketing in general, becoming a marketing consultant. How do we measure success? Sales is easy. You look at the revenue coming in. The mm-hmm. salesperson can sell it. They can't. But marketing is squishier. Mm-hmm. How do you measure success? Yeah, that's a very good question. And it really is difficult to measure. And if I'm being completely honest, I think if you are looking at similar metrics as you would be looking at with sales, you might see it and say, this is this is a failure. And that's far, far from the the case. Um, Like I was mentioning those key areas, for example, the brand recognition and share of voice. Those are huge areas where you can start to see success because you will begin to see your brand name elevated. So I think it's going to start with identifying what your goals are from the beginning and being clear and honest about what those goals are. And then you can check to those as well. So, um, and you should, again, you should set realistic goals. So it shouldn't be, you know, we need to make a sale from this. It should be, we want to, you know, start showing up in more industry press. We want to land a speaking opportunity. Um, It should be something that is more aligned with the marketing track than something that is specifically sales related. And then you can track to those specific goals that you've set. You have a wide variety of clients, but you focus in media entertainment. Yeah. As you look at the industry right now, it's going in every possible direction. Yes. What's your view of the market? It's definitely clear that it's it's a bit of a rocky time for the industry. And 
Um, and I think everyone's kind of grappling with how do we, how do we, you know, account for maybe budget cuts and, and people being laid off, which are really, you know, terrible things to, to see happen across the industry. Um, one of the takeaways from the IABM breakfast was that most media companies are not expecting um, any budget increase in the new year. So how do you plan for that when, you know, there might not be any additional budget for these, your customers or the, you know, targets you're going after to spend money on your technology? Um, I think there's a couple different things. I think one of them is starting to diversify. And I, I do see this happening with, um, with a number of companies in the industry. There are so many more companies that are becoming media businesses. So where it was kind of a smaller pie and, and a more limited pie for everybody to share, there's a lot more opportunity out there. There's a lot more businesses that are bringing media into their strategies that wouldn't be seen as a traditional media organization. And this is also where, you know, marketing really matters for the companies that you're that we are traditionally going after because you really do need to have your messaging very clear. It needs to be very clear what your benefits what the benefits you are bringing to these businesses are. Um, and that needs to, to showcase how they will be able to save money on their operations and um, how it will you know, bring down their total cost of, of, of ownership. It's easy, easy to get depressed looking at the industry right now. What makes you optimistic? But I think that people are really looking to embrace new technology and new solutions to the challenges that they're facing. Um, there is a lot of, you know, there is still a lot of opportunity for tech upgrades. Some technology is coming to this end of life and then you, they do need to address those problems. And so I think there are still plenty of opportunities out there um, for, for vendors to, you know, find where they can make a difference and, and help these companies bring their media operations into, you know, the future, not just today, but there's, um, there's a lot of uh, media consumption happening and, and those demands do need to be, to be met. If you were given one paragraph, what would you want people to remember about your agency? I would want people to remember that Grit House Agency really is far more than a media relations agency. We're focused on their brand messaging, their product marketing, their content strategies, and media relations and how that's communicated across the industry.